Dampers are a structural element used in many buildings today to resist uh, dynamic forces, which are basically forces a structure may experience that don't happen on a day-to-day -day basis, and when they do happen, they're very quick and very strong. So the obvious one is earthquakes, um, another one may be really intense storms or winds. So dampers basically work like this. When you have a skyscraper, you usually don't think about the wind forces that may act on it. Um, which in fact increase as you get higher and higher in the atmosphere. So while you're maybe on the 10th floor and you don't experience much side-to-side -side movement of this building, on a very windy day at the very highest floor, um, buildings are known to experience uh, over a, a foot of side-to-side -side motion, which you can definitely feel, um, which leads to a lot of motion sickness for office workers. Um, so let's say one day there was a particularly intense um, force right at the top here, and it made the building almost look like this. This is a serious problem for structurally because here you have um, the, the columns on this side in compression, and here you have them on tension, so you have to um, counteract these really strong forces on rigid beams. Um, so what was invented was a damper, which is essentially in the most simplest case, if here's a close-up on the top. Somewhere on this top floor you have a big ball or structure with a lot of mass. And it's essentially hanging in midair on springs. So that when this building moves, because it's so massive, then it tends to stay where it is based on the laws of inertia. So it's counteracting the force which is um, pushing this structure to the right, which is going to cause it to, over time, move less. Um, and this also takes, if you want to think of it in terms of equations, if this is some kind of force, then the force is actually the change in um, your momentum. And since the mass is not changing, you're actually just changing V. But the bigger your mass is, then the smaller your change in, in velocity to the right. So that's what this uh, big damper uh, does. So really good examples of this are the Taipei 101 in Taiwan, um, the uh, Millennium Bridge in London, the Skywalk in Grand Canyon. All of these use this damper.